If you are looking for a watch to suit your slimmer wrist, then this is the video for you. Welcome back to yet another video from Chisholm Hunter. My name is Harrison and today we're going to be going over smaller watches for more dainty wrists. I'm a slim guy and to be honest, whenever I look at watches online because I can't try them on, the first thing I look at is the size. Anything over 41 to 42 mil raises major red flags in my mind. So the list that we'll go over today is everything below 40 mil that looks great on a slimmer wrist. Let's begin with a brand that has been taking the industry by storm recently. The figures on this brand of how they are excelling is pretty unbelievable. It, of course, is Tudor. And actually, in this point, we're going to cover two watches in the same point because they're both they're both Tudor. Let's begin with the Black Bay 58. The Black Bay 58 comes with a 39mm case diameter and wears wonderfully on the wrist. Actually, the Black Bay uh, Heritage, which I, I've actually got on at the moment, also wears wonderfully, but... If you have slimmer wrist, I'd go for the 58. The lug to lug on this model comes in at 47.5 millimeters and the strap size or between the lugs comes in at 20 millimeters. The thickness or the tallness you could say comes in at 12 millimeters. Now, if you want to scale up and this is that little bit too small, you could go for the watch that I've got on at the moment and go for the Black Bay Heritage, which comes in a little bit bigger. And actually I've got the ETA version, so it comes in at 12.7 millimeters in thickness instead of 14.5. Yes, I am a nerd. I do memorize stuff. <laughs> also, when you're looking at the Black Bay 58, you have a couple of colors to choose between, but my personal favorite and Drew's personal favorite, I'm not going to say any more than that, is the black dial. The price of this model comes in at £3,280. Now, obviously, incrementally each year, Tudor does put the price up. So that is as of today. And by the way, that's not just Tudor, that's every brand in the industry. So that is as of today when we're posting this video. Next up, we have another Tudor model. We have the Tudor Pelagos 39mm. This Tudor Pelagos obviously comes in at 39mm, has an 11.8mm thickness and a 47mm lug to lug. And the total weight of this watch with an unsized bracelet is 107 grams. Now, something to bear in mind is that the price of this watch is more expensive, or this watch is more expensive than the Black Bay 58. It comes in at 4,120 or 4,180. It's one of those. And that is, of course, as of today because of these price increases that happen each year. But you are getting a titanium watch for your money. And having tried the Tudor Pelagos on, it is unbelievable. Now, I actually have, uh, I've said this before, a, a Tudor Black Bay Heritage on, and if I was to get another Tudor, it wouldn't be a Black Bay. It would probably be a Pelagos. Next up, we have a watch that is absolutely phenomenal value for money. It is the Longines Hydra Conquest 39mm. Now, a couple of points to take away from this is that you can scale up to 41 or 43 if you would like to, and they do have a ton of color and metal variations. Now, Drew's personal favorite is the blue, but my personal favorite is the black. So it's just based on your personal preference. This watch comes in obviously at 39 millimeters in diameter again. Its lug distance is 19 millimeters and its thickness is 12.2 millimeters. It can go to water resistance or it is rather water resistant to 300 meters and it comes in at a weight of 166.2 grams. The movement in this model is the L888 movement. Now this movement has 72 hours of power, it's cost certified and is manufactured in house by Longines, which is pretty incredible for the money you're paying. On the subject of money, this comes in at £1,650. And for what you get from this watch, it's absolutely unbelievable. Longines as a brand are absolutely smashing it at the moment. And I, I just, I wanted to say that because I'm a big fan. Before we move on to some pretty spicy Hamilton watches that are absolutely phenomenally sized, I need to I need to apologize. I put my back out the other day, so today I'm a little bit deflated. I've been off work for the past couple of days. What do you know? I hit 25 and it all started going downhill, but I also wanted to pause this video to, to say thank you. To say thank you for building this incredible watch community. We've just hit 25,000 subscribers and that is because of you guys. So thank you so much. You know, a goal of ours in the next year is to hit 50,000 subscribers. And if you could help build that watch community and help us do that and subscribe, it would be much appreciated. 
Next up, we have a movie classic from Hamilton. Actually, we have two Hamilton watches, but the first one is the one that's featured in Interstellar. Actually, it's not featured in Interstellar. That's a total lie. It's Big Brother is featured in Interstellar. Now, the Big Brother of the Murph watch came in at 42 millimeters, but the new upgrade to the Murph watch comes in at 38 millimeters. Now, because it has that leather strap and that polished case, it is a very dressy watch, I would say. I would say it's more, it's more dressy than it is sporty. And it plays a wonderful part in Interstellar. A fun fact about the 42 mm variant is that if you look at the second hand, it actually has in Morse code, Eureka. Now, if you've ever seen Interstellar, you'll understand. But let's get to the specs. This watch, of course, comes in at 38 millimeters in diameter. Remember, if you want to upgrade to the bigger version, it comes in at 42. The height of this model comes in at 11.1 millimeters and the lug to lug comes in at 44.7 millimeters. This watch, of course, comes in stainless steel and has the H10 movement. Now, the H10 movement is pretty brilliant value for money. It has 80 hours of power and 25 joules and a Nivcron balance spring in there. This watch as a full package comes in at 820 pounds. And for that money, you do get quite a lot of bang for your buck. Also, if you're a movie fan, you'll like it. Hey, Future Harrison here, and we have a bit of a dilemma. After we filmed this video, the Black Bay 54 came out. And as you guys know, the Black Bay 54 comes in at 37 mil and is water resistant to 200 meters. It is a pretty incredible watch for slimmer wrists. So I thought that Future Harrison would come in here and just drop that in the video because it's quite fitting. Anyway, back to present Harrison. Before we go any further, it's time for the Chisholm Hunter tradition, which of course is the wrist check. Let me know what's on your wrist today. I love seeing all the, the weird and wonderful watches that you guys have. So I actually have the Tudor Black Bay ETA at the moment. And interesting thing about this is it was only in production for around about a year. And there's pretty intricate details on the dial that are different to the new in-house version. So this could potentially be a collector's item in the future. Oh, and also Chisholm Hunter are authorized retailers of most of the watches that you see in this video. Make sure you click the link below if you're shopping for your first luxury watch or just adding to the collection. Up next from Hamilton, we have the Hamilton Khaki Field Titanium Automatic. Now, telling you the truth, guys, I used to have the Khaki Field Mechanical. This watch was unbelievable and it was my go-to for the outdoors. I've since broken that watch, totally my fault, not Hamilton's, and I'll be getting that fixed pretty soon, but I can say from experience, it's brilliant. Field watches are basically watches that have been designed for the outdoors, been designed for the military, and their sole purpose is to tell the time clearly and be very, very durable. This khaki field titanium is of course automatic and we'll touch on the movement a little bit later, but it comes in full titanium. Now titanium is a lot more lightweight than steel, so is great for the outdoors. This watch has a 38 millimeter case diameter and a 20 millimeter lug width. It has sapphire crystal glass, of course comes in titanium and the H10 movement, which is brilliant for the money. This has 80 hours of power and also this watch is resistant to 100 meters. Before we move on to the next watch, remember that the Hamilton comes in at 900 pounds. I have to say on a side note, I am a huge advocate for Hamilton. I actually spent some time with the CEO of Hamilton, Vivian, in Zermatt in Switzerland. Now, we did some pretty cool stuff. We went in a helicopter, but more importantly, I got to speak to him about watches and about the impact the watch community has on Hamilton watches. They truly, Hamilton truly, listens to the watch community and changes their watches based on our feedback, which makes us feel more involved. You know, that's all we really want as watch enthusiasts. For example, the Murph watch. We were asking for a smaller Murph watch for years and eventually they got round to it. So Hamilton, great brand. Next up, we have the Glass Hootie Original CQ, which comes in at 39.5 millimeters. It's almost touching that 40 millimeter variant, but it's, it's not quite touching it. Glass Hootie as a brand, before I get into the specs, are absolute handcrafted genius. We actually went in a factory tour with Glass Hooty Original and seeing the intricacies of the factory was unbelievable. Some of the rooms in their factory are set to one temperature and if anything goes above or below, they need to evacuate the room because that will mess up the process in some weird way. It's, it's honestly unbelievable. This model comes in at 39.5 millimeters in case diameter, as I've said before, and has a 12.15 millimeter case height. It also goes to water resistance or is waterproof to 200 meters, comes in stainless steel and a bracelet. Now this bracelet, it looks pretty awesome, but I would put personally the rubber strap on it. 
This watch comes in at £9,200 with the bracelet. Now remember, this is a diving watch and it's well, a, or a sports watch at its core. And you know, a previous version of Harrison would say, this is just too expensive. I don't think that the watch justifies the price. But, but, when I went on that factory tour, when I saw the intricacies, the detail that the watchmakers go into, when I saw the CEO, when I spoke to the CEO regarding these watches, I, I, I then understood why they're priced the way they are. I think they're phenomenal underrated watches. Next up, we have a pretty important brand because it's the oldest watch brand in the world. It's been going since 1735. Yes, it's not the oldest watch brand in continuous production. That goes to Vacheron, but it is the oldest watch brand in the world. And that is some title to hold. This watch is, of course, the Blompan 50 Fathoms Bathyscaphe 38 millimeter. A true diving watch coming in at truly brilliant size. Before we get into the specs and the price of this watch, I just want to say that Blompan's a brand that I don't get to talk about much. And actually, I think it's a brand that I should be talking about a little bit more. If there's any brand specifically that you guys want to see more of on this channel, please let me know in the comments. If it's if it's a weird and wonderful brand that not many people have heard of, that's even better. Please let me know in the comments. The case diameter comes in at 38 millimeters and the case thickness comes in at 10.8 millimeters. The width between the lugs comes in at 20 millimeters and this watch is water resistant to 300 meters. The movement of this watch is the calibre 1150. Actually, just going to say this now, the movements in Blancpans are just to die for. The diameter of this movement comes in at 26.5 millimetres and the thickness comes in at 3.25 millimetres. It has a power reserve, and wait until you hear this, a power reserve of 100 hours, has 28 joules and 210 components. The price of this watch comes in at £8,900. And yes, that again is a chunky price tag, but the movement in this watch, the design of this watch, the handcrafted nature of this watch all contribute towards that price. And that's it. That's all we have time for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you've enjoyed, please hit that subscribe button to help us reach our goal of 50,000 subscribers or follow our Instagram Chisholm Hunter watches. My name's Harrison. This is the Chisholm Hunter channel and I'll be back in a couple of days.